what number of energy is this of the day? Uh, I lost count. 500. I lost, <laughs> I lost count, I've lost count. That's so crazy. Is this still crazy to you? Yes. Yeah. This is really nuts. nuts. I used to none of this. <laughs> I used to none of this. I just think that's mad that like you've come from people not knowing your faces to your faces of you. Yeah, trust everywhere, innit? All over London, yeah, all, all over Twitter, all it's over mad. all types of social media. It's mad, man. Which is mad. How do you, do you ever, do you ever have to just like step back and be like, just, just yeah, take it in? Yeah, at times, man, because it doesn't, mm-hmm. it just doesn't feel real. Like it's proper overwhelming. Like seeing your face on posters. The one that got me was the bus. I just came out the barber shop <laughs> and I see the bus go by, I see the booster, I was like, whoa. Yeah. This is crazy. So yeah, man, it's different. That's so mad. Yeah. And even like social media, so obviously like you're in mm-hmm. the trailer and the trailer's just yeah. everywhere. Like yeah. I see people commenting on it, people quote tweeting it, whatever, <laughs> like Instagram. So like even that, just like, you know that like Instagram ads, you're scrolling, you see yourself. How mad is that? Yeah, it's mad. Like, it's it's like, crazy. Like, yeah, the Snapchat ads, Instagram ads, yeah. crazy. That's crazy. insane. Right, cool. I've got a little game for you guys. Yay! A little game for you guys. It's a it's a two player game conveniently. Yeah. So I need you, one of you needs to be the, the the describer and one of you needs to be the guesser. They're really rubbish terms, but that's Are you good at describing or are you good at guessing? It depends what the topic is. The topic <laughs> is ends and either songs or people or you just describe you describe. Okay, cool. Right, so you've got Okay. Eight things yeah. to guess. Okay. To describe. You're describing. Okay. Jeez. Yeah. So you can't say, you can't say like, oh, it rhymes with hat and the word is cat. You okay. can't do that. Okay. Right? Okay, cool. But other than that, go for it. Use your imagination. Go crazy. And it's all <clears> to do <throat> with stuff from that part of it. <laughs> it's getting, part of it. It's, it's, still, I'm it's getting, getting ready. prepared. It's getting prepared. It's all yeah. to do with stuff either to do with blue story or like to just to do with ends um. around that time, that kind of thing. All right, there's no time limit, but just do yeah. as quick as you can. Go. <clears throat> Gigs. <laughs> um, where is the film sitting? South London. Where? Lewisham. Where though? Like, what's it? What's, Blue what's Borough. Bang. Um, ooh. Don't think you'll know this one. She's a bit of a Try goody, me. She's a bit of a goody two shoes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can hum it. Try me. Maybe. I ain't even heard this song for time. <laughs> like, I don't even remember it. Oh, dumb. No, nah, I'm gonna skip this one. Okay, skip it. Fine. Um, what's the main school? Uh-huh. Where Ratman is from? Oh. You should know this. You're from the area. No, that's the one he wanted to no, go to. No, what's the main school there though? Oh, Sacred Heart. No, main school from where he's from, not where he went to school to. Crofton. No. Deptford Green. Yeah. He went to Deptford Green. So the main school I'm where he's from. From the area. Where he's from? He's from Deptford. Yeah. That's Definitely. not the main school. Yeah, That's the only school it, I know. Yeah, it was all his... Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> what area... Okay. There's an area, South London, yeah. next to Kenton. There's, there's an animal and, you know, a type of accommodation. <laughs> think of it, think of it. An a, animal. An animal. A really good description. And a type of accommoda- accommodation. Is that, <laughs> what? An animal. In okay, the it's type a big animal. One of the li- one is the one of the biggest animals. Think of one of the biggest animals. Lion, bear. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? If you don't get it, I think you're going to be really annoyed. Yeah. You just got to keep going. <laughs> a big animal in a yeah. type of accommodation. Yeah, like a luxury accommodation. What does a princess live in? A palace. Oh, oh crystal palace. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. sit. No, Elef- no, no, elephant of no, 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 no. <laughs> Joke, man. That wasn't a good one. I don't think. Oh. Uh, really? <laughs> Um, she's not gonna know this now. Is that too like too yeah, deep? This is too deep. Too deep. Like, okay, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> this is rude, Stephen. <laughs> name name a Peckham guy that was at one of the video shoots was at the other day. But I've already said it in the first time. Yeah, but what video? What name another Peckham guy that was there? <laughs> he's famous. <laughs> you know this. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's famous. Kind kind of like he's doing his thing from Peckham. That was there? Yeah. Oh, no. Nah, Tiny Boost. Do you know Tiny Boost? Oh, no. Oh. Right, cool, think of another, <laughs> this is the last one. Think of another place in the in the, in the Lewisham Borough, like. Catford. Oh, okay, oh cool. I got it in one. That For was, real. you know what, you saved Shit. it with that one. Yeah, because I couldn't get, couldn't get Elephant so Castle. Yeah, Elephant from that area. So you actually said Crystal Palace when he said an animal? I know! 
animal yeah. called Crystal. Because yeah? <laughs> he was yeah. going to tell yeah. me I panicked. I didn't know this animal was called Crystal, but... No, that was good though, guys. Well done. Well thank done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good, it's good, it's good. How are you? Yeah, man, I'm good, man. I'm excited. Blue Story Time and all of that. It's, you know, my favourite film. This is... How does it feel, right, going from... Obviously, writing that the mini the mini series, like it being a mini YouTube series, to it being this this phenomenon that's on buses and in stations it's and stuff mad, like that. You know what? It hasn't even fully kicked in yet. You know, I think because I, I know there's still so much more to come, and we got opening weekend, and we got this, and we got feet. It's just it hasn't kicked in yet. I'm hoping maybe tonight, um, if there'll be a reality check when um I watch the I see the premiere version of it, and um. Yeah, but I'm happy though. Like, I did see a bus the other day and I got excited. You know, I That's can't good. believe my face on a bus, but I'm happy. It's all good. That's good. Stephen was saying he came out the barbers and saw his face go by yeah, yeah. on a bus, which is mad. And I literally had to walk. Because <laughs> I take Uber everywhere, practically. I said, nah, I'm taking, Uber. I'm taking the train today, man. So I walked down yeah. to the high street, and as soon as I got, as soon as I got to the high street, the bus is just there, waiting for me. That's <laughs> sick. But yeah, that was this. That's so sick. I, coincidentally, this wasn't even planned, but I had an interview yesterday um, for a publication. It was with Tiny Boost. And he was, so we were talking about his involvement on the soundtrack and mm. stuff like that. And he was saying, he was basically saying that it's sick because he actually had this desire to work on stories or to work in some sort of capacity on stories like Blue Story or, you know, like certain kinds mm. of dramas mm. or those kind of programs. And how important is it for you, I guess, to showcase what you know, you know what I mean? Like your reality, your I think, I think, life. I think it's important because TV and film can't just be one person's perception, you know what I'm saying? Like if film at TV is meant to reflect the world, then you need to see all the world's stories. And um, the reason why I say this blue story is one of a kind because a lot of these stories coming from other, in a similar genre, is all based on the stereotype of what they think it was like down there with this type of slang, what they think the slang was and how they think they acted. But yeah. this is literally all based on um, personal experiences, you know, so... And um, this type of story needs to be told. Like, you know, people think stories like this can't have no depth, can't have no meaning, can't really get no emotion from mm. it. It's just shooting and bang, bang. But this is going to make you know the difference now because you watch this film when you go on a journey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, definitely. I think also, so right, with Blue Story, with other films, you've got sort of like someone who acts as a director and then someone that, you know, they might outsource to get the script right on and then they might outsource to get someone else and whatever. Whereas this is like, this is your baby. Do you yeah, know what I, I mean? It. This I is literally your... I directed it, I've narrated it. Exactly. H this helped is... the sat in that whole edit, set and all the all exactly. this. Exactly. It's a lot, but um, you have to be hands-on. Like, if you want... Uh, if this film fails, for example, God forbid, I'll put my hand up and say, boy, I tried my best. What can I do? And if this film wins, I can say it my hand up because well, I tried my best. Now, because if it fails and you didn't put your all in, you're always gonna wonder. Maybe I should have just been more hands on. Maybe mm. I should have sat in on that. So, most stuff, I want, nothing went by without me knowing. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's good. I feel like you need to do that if you're gonna put your name on a project. Yeah, no, definitely. And also, again, going back to the <clears throat> going back to the soundtrack. So, how I guess obviously I know that your involvement with the film was 360 involvement mm. or mm. hands on, but with the soundtrack or with the sort of anything to do with the promotion or anything like that? Like, how involved were you in sort of the whole process or how important do you think it is for you to be involved in it? I haven't been involved in the full promotion of the soundtrack yet, only because I've been so busy yeah. with the film. But picking the artist and all of that, that's down to me. Like, the thing with me, you can't get my signature on anything unless I get con I can control it, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're trying to get me and use my name and use what I do, then I can't let somebody else take over it because it's not yeah. really me. You might as well not sign me then. So with me and everything, it's like, who do you want in there? And I'm like, I want gig, I want rare, 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 rare. And I had a list and I was like, oh, it's the fact that you said Tiny Boost. Tiny Boost, I saw him doing an interview in one of the blogs where he was just mm. talking about Joe and in a positive light, but he's not glamorising it. I thought, I like the fact that he's not glamorising this, man. Let me see if I can get something from him. So I reached out in a DMC, oh, you got a song for me? So I'm always, anything with my name, I'll be real, anything with my name on it, that I've co-signed, like sometimes someone might put your name somewhere and you don't even know that about it. But if you see me post something, Rap Man Red Red, try to know I had probably 95% control over yeah. what happened there. Cool, it's my last question. So obviously we've had the sort of the YouTube series and that kind of thing and they, they just started blowing up and then now we've got like this full feature length film. Mm. What's next for Rap Man? What can we expect from you? I'm going to the States for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, I'm doing some work out there and I'm trying to establish myself over there. So that'll probably be most of 2020. Um, but as soon as I've done with that project, 
could probably give you a UK show, a TV show. You know, a little sign that you can binge. Nice. Just, you know Love I mean? a good so, binge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I've, got some, I've got some shows coming for you a lot. Sick. Thank you very much. Oh,